In this four-part film, we explore the issues and approaches surrounding training for problem-based learning facilitators in a medical education context. Through the use of semi-structured filmed interviews, information was gathered from participants attending a one-week short course on advanced topics in problem-based learning at Maastricht University in the Netherlands. The interviewees that feature in this film are medical educators that come from several universities throughout the world including South Africa, Chile, Netherlands, Saudi Arabia, Ghana, and Indonesia. This educational resource is divided into four short films involving a multifaceted discussion that explores initial facilitator development, ongoing facilitator development, feedback mechanisms on performance of PBL facilitators, and the profiles of facilitators at each university. This part of the four-part film provides a brief overview of the role of a PBL facilitator and looks at initial facilitator development at various universities. How often do they run it? 
How do the facilitators profile influence facilitator development and how do they decide on which topics to include, etc. The idea for this resource was born in order to answer these questions. Now the initial facilitator training is conducted before anyone can facilitate any PBL session at UCT. Uh, everybody who enters Maastricht University uh, for a, a job um, first has to do a four day course and two days is on PBL on everything on problem based learning and the other two days are on how to be a good shooter so that's the basis before anybody can do any teaching uh, or being a tutor uh, here at Maastricht University before we do it uh, two days but the trouble is usually the participants won't uh, come at the whole uh, what is it sessions we we design. So uh, today uh, we are doing it in one day. Uh, where the uh, the study the rule facilitator the uh, the job uh, what are the function that the facilitator has to. Um, uh, conduct uh, in small group discussion and they do some practicing so they do kind of small group uh, simulation practice where they facilitate and then they see how they did and by the end they will do have the basics of facilitated um, but they are still not experts so they they go and watch other facilitators during the sessions and uh, and uh, Basically, uh, it's like a peer study where the, you learn from your colleagues who are uh, ahead of you in, in that field, which is facilitating. So the uh, one time is uh, courses that they do before they start facilitating. Um, and basically, it's m more kind of like a workshop. About the, the role of the tutors, role of the student, role of the faculty and I'll everything about PBL. Uh, over one day, two days, five days? Two days. Mm -hmm. Two days for a new tutor. Therefore, uh, we do it one day. And um, in the one day session, we are doing the exercise, uh, uh, we explain the PBL, uh, what is PBL. We explain about the steps of the PBL uh, how doing the PBL and the session, what about the first session and the second session. Uh, we do, uh, we give a case and they're, they're like here, they're training like uh, they're the students and we, uh, from us, uh, from the medical education unit, being uh, one of the facilitator. But for new tutors, we, it's only for one or two or three maybe uh, tutor tutors, so we don't we don't do specific uh, tutorial uh, uh, training, so we do it uh, like coaching. Uh, they they I will uh, our unit will arrange uh, them to one of our colleague that uh, we believe we are uh, what is it. Good will be a good example of of uh, the new tutor, and the the new tutor will uh, like company company him, and so what's what's happening in the tutorial group? Okay, <coughs> so it's coaching and watching and observing. Mm -hmm. okay. The initial training is conducted over a period of two and a half days. No one at UCT can become a PBL facilitator without attending this course and participants will receive a certificate from the Education Development Unit after completing the course. Uh, the truth is uh, our facilitators or tutors uh, are not being uh, formally trained. They just learn to do PBL by practice doing under supervision with the uh, older uh, teachers. Uh, but there's no uh, formal program of training. The training, you mean, it's very necessary because uh, our tutors um, uh, are doing uh, PBL on different ways. During the initial facilitator training, potential facilitators are given a paper-based case about PBL. 
and they have to actually go through the eight step process to solve or make sense of this case. Facilitators are then chosen based on their performance during these workshops. According to Dr. Daniel Amawakosaki from the School of Medical Sciences at the University of Cape Coast in Ghana, newly recruited facilitators are trained on tutorial skills and group dynamics as part of their orientation by means of interactive lectures and a workshop where PBL is the mode of learning. All universities have some kind of initial facilitator training for new facilitators. Most are structured courses over a period of one, two, three, or four days where facilitators are taught the basics about PBL and various other aspects of PBL, such as the role of the facilitator and how to manage group dynamics. Some universities ensure that PBL is role played during these initial training sessions, such as in South Africa and Ghana, whereas other universities, such as in Chile, have a less formal initial training program whereby new facilitators practice facilitation under the supervision of a more experienced facilitator. Either way, it is evident that the universities featured in this film have mechanisms in place to train and support the novice facilitator.